Well, it really started as a design project. I was not doing badly when I made the decision to make a big project on happiness, but I had asked my question, I asked, had asked that question myself, like, you know, why is it that I'm a designer? Why am I going, why am I getting up in the morning? Why am I not staying in bed and watch TV? Or, uh, and ultimately the, question, the answer to that was one of, because I think I'm going to do better if I get up and design something than if I stay in bed. And so ultimately I put a whole talk together about this subject, about design and happiness. That was really for designers as in, is it possible to become happier as a designer? And probably the much more important question, is it possible to design something that would increase the happiness of a user? As a communication designer, we usually work on very big data and somehow look at that data and figure out how to make it communicatable. And I don't think we've ever worked on a bigger, pro on a bigger data project than happiness because it goes into all directions. And that was one of the big problems that we faced because the, the subject is so gigantic and so never ending. I mean, everything can fit into that subject. Uh, but that definitely we felt was part of our job to somehow reduce this down into something that is biteable and that we can really communicate. But I think the whole project really much evolved. We really uh, had three points where the whole project was three legs where the, the project was standing on. I still did the presentation, which was a fantastic way to try out new subjects. We did the film, which was really the big project, the most difficult one to do. Luckily, it's out, finished and done. And then we did the exhibition. And none of these three projects would have really be able to exist without the other. The film would have never been done without the exhibition because uh, the only reason we were able to finish the film was because the feedback from the exhibition was always so good. The, uh, and the talk really financed the film. 